Two random guys back with beer view number two. Lizard's Mouth Imperial IPA. This is a saucy 9% APV, 75 IBUs, are you kidding me? Simcoe, Centennial, Citra, Horizon on the hops. Look at all the medals this thing has won. That's a nicely decorated beer right there. Woo-wee! Cannot wait to give this a taste. It's named after a rock formation at the top of the San Inez Mountains, and, uh... Yep, I see it. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I see it. I, I, I get it. If you're curious, you want to go take a hike and uh, and check this out for yourself, it's just right here, right here, down in Southern California, out above LA. If you happen to see a lizard, feel free to offer him some. Now let's get to it. We're back. Second beer review. Second beer review ever. Two random guys. We just tried earlier Hoppy Poppy from Figueroa Mountain. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. Great IPA. Can't go wrong. But today we're taking it up a notch. Today we have the Figaro Mountain Lizard's Mouth IPA. Uh, I'm sorry, an Imperial IPA, okay? Go get the king and queen, cause goodness. Figaro Mountain, they're a California brewery. This one, I'm really excited to get it. Lizard's Mouth, a 9% IPA. This will put your tongue on ice skates, baby. This will get you slurring your words. So you're not gonna necessarily take out a 12 pack of these for a casual picnic like you maybe would with Hoppy Poppies. These get the party going. These get the night started. Couple Lizard's Mouth IPAs got you feeling good. Without further ado, I'm ready to crack this here. Ah, deliciousness. So let's just hear that pop. Like we always do with any good beverage, you have to let it breathe. So let's pour this up. Glug, 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 glug. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Some people think I do foamy pours, but you gotta release the flavors. Let that carbonation flow. Let your beer breathe. Just let it breathe. It'll all settle in time. Just let it breathe. It's not going anywhere. Have a look at those bubbles. That's, this could be a glass of champagne here. Having a look at those bubbles. Wow. Are you joking? Just have a look at that. That's why you pour it into a glass, is just to admire the beauty of this craft beverage. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. This is a gift to humanity. I could cry. 9% coming our way, 75 IBUs. Let's see how bitter that 75 tastes. I didn't want to remove that from my lips. I did not want to take this away from my mouth. That is delicious. Wow, thoroughly hoppy. I think 75 is about right. 75, that's an honest ranking. They're gonna be a good level of hoppy. Some beers will market themselves up above 100. Over 100 IBUs, at that point, it's a little bit suspicious. Somebody puts themselves right there at 75 or 80. They know what they're talking about. That's a real bitter beer you're gonna get something nice. I got nothing else to say, I just wanna drink some more. <sighs> it's, it's so dangerous that it's a nine percenter because it just goes down so easy. It goes down so easily. You could have two or three of these before you realize that that 9% is not just for marketing. That's really gonna hit you in the head. That gets you, that gets you good. Wow. Figaro Mountain, two for two, Hoppy Poppy, Lizard's Mouth, quality IPAs. You can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. In the future, I'll do a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two and see how maybe they stack up. But for now, we're just enjoying our beer, friends. That's all I have for you. 
So cheers.